Imagine spending a small fortune when you're 20 so you can look like you're 50 trying to look 20. But that's what they do. Gen Z is obsessed with Botox and is making them look old. Uh, they almost look robotic. Yeah. Like I just said, they go from looking 20 to looking like they're 50 trying to look 20. Th that's not an improvement, guys. Uh, Botox is supposed to preserve youth, but for Gen Z, it's expediting the aging process. Uh, the uh, bot botulinum toxin, meant to reduce the appearance and uh, worsening of fine lines and wrinkles, is uh, making Zoomers look older than they are as an influx of uh, young patients seek out preventive treatments such as baby Botox. What? Like, is that literal? Are they, are they literally doing this on babies? Uh, it's mostly not necessary and just a real source of anxiety, a board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Brooke Jeffy, told uh, USA Today. Oftentimes, they're moving their face, they're moving their face, and we don't even see wrinkles. But this is what they're afraid of. Oh, oh, so they're just like, oh, oh, wait a minute. If this is used to reduce the appearance of wrinkles, if I get it before I got wrinkles, I just won't get wrinkles. I could stay young forever. I will forever look like I'm 50 trying to look 20. Yeah, that Ink Masters clip is a classic for a reason, Yeo. Yeah, why are you 24 looking 50? Yeah, I, I, I think there must have been some Botox involved. Uh, in current year, minus two, 75% of plastic surgeons saw surgeon patients under 30, according to data from the uh, American uh, Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. While some doctors are thrilled by the process of younger people taking better care of themselves, others argue it's too soon to receive injectables. Yeah, how would this count as taking better care of yourself? No, th that's not what this is. Uh, the right time to get Botox and someone is really starting to see faint uh, fixed line, meaning that... Uh, Oh, meaning that they see it uh, see it there when their face is not moving, uh, Jeffy explained. Oh, I guess it's too late for me. I've been there for a while. And because of how frequently Botox injections are needed to maintain a smooth complexion uh, about every three to six months, it's, uh, it's a really long road uh, when you're starting this out in your 20s, she added. Wow, just think of all the compounding money right there. If you live to be 70 and get this every, every year of your life, ooh. Uh, there's a little bit of a misconception among some of my patients I've chatted with. They just think that, uh, oh, you could get this uh, this done once and you never have to think about it again. Now, the only way you could get away with that is if you do li like uh, like Dollface in Twisted Metal. <laughs> that, that That's about all you can do. Uh, starting too young can also alter the appearance of certain facial features and make 20-somethings appear decades older than they really are. I, I, I guess they're fine with that. Uh, the uh, Love Island effect, for instance, as a uh, che what was a cheeky term coined by fans of the reality series to reference or to reference the cast's cosmetic procedures that made them appear much more mature than they were. <laughs> yeah, I imagine be being in the teen category and and lusting after the gilf category. Oh, I I I, I can't just I, I can't just wait until I'm there naturally. I got to speed run this, speed run teen to gilf. Just two years, motherfucker. Beat my record. I can change the shape of their eyebrow and almost make them look older because uh, they can't emote anymore and they look almost robotic. Yep. Unfortunately, you've seen a lot of bad Botox just from untrained people or from uh, people uh, or people who are doing it that don't really have an aesthetic eye. It's a big field, isn't it? Like when you get a lot of people jumping in on it because it's big and popular. Yeah, you're bound to get a bunch of shitty ones. And not to mention uh, all the Botox early in life could be for knots down the line. The body can become resistant to the effects of Botox with increased exposure. Why? Well, I, I, well, what's the? What are you going to do then? Are you going to increase the dosage? That can't be good. Uh, I've seen it happen, and that's why I'm very cautious. Rossi continued. Uh, they they uh, may think uh, more is more, but it really is not. Yeah, the, the, this kind of reminds me like so, some some LASIK procedures, like to correct your vision. Like th there's one where like they they pretty much shave parts of your your uh, your, your eye off to change its shape. Like th and that one, like it's recommended you wait as long as possible to get it done because there's only so much that could be shaved off of your eye, like right in front of the lens. If you get like if you 
waste that surgery get getting your vision corrected when you're too young and then it gets worse and it gets even worse than it initially was you're just kind of screwed oh then they switch oh apparently they switch to phenol after uh botox huh okay yeah i don't i don't know any of this stuff i i don't need to be injecting any of this crap into my face i'm good <laughs> 